Are you ready to build more tools to mind fuck by building a more refined mind? You've come to the correct YouTube channel. I just watched the video by Elliot Hoss. See, here's a guy who has got mental aesthetics, you know, and mental strength. Well, I don't know about mental aesthetics. So I've never seen any um, photographs he's taken, but he's definitely got some mental strength. So he's got the mental strength department down and the physical strength. Now, at first, I thought this guy was uh, one of the Hoss twins. Because they obviously look a little bit alike. So I was thinking that, oh, where's the other guy, right? And I was thinking, wait a second, there's another guy. And then he started getting really popular. And I was thinking, dude, if the if Ellie Hoss had a twin, they'd be making like commentaries about mental stuff, stuff of the mind. Uh, divide this guy's brain in half and putting in one each each half in both of them, or just have his whole brain and divide, uh, I mean, multiply instead of divided by two and put it on here. I don't know, I'm not sure. Or combine two of the brains and put it in one of them. Okay, so this, this is a great video. Um, this guy knows what he's talking about. Um, really appreciative of someone who wants to bring the mental game into the strength game. Building the mind as well as the body. Anyway, enough, enough praising, enough talking about other people's brains. Let's focus in on yours. Uh, anyway, so um, in the video, at the start of the video, he talked about how uh, this guy, he moved to China, right? And um, he didn't have confidence because, uh, he said that because he was a little different. So people look at him uh, as someone who is different and might not want to approach him first until he shows off his inner diamond. Well, uh, that's very true in a lot of societies. But in Taiwan, um, in Taiwan you get a lot of attention from women just by being different. I'm serious, even if you're an Indian, if you're ugly, if you can speak English in Taiwan, you can get a lot of women's attention. Um, uh, that's how it is. And the Taiwanese people, they really like foreigners. and. I mean, there's, of course, there's hierarchies between different races, too. But uh, I think if you're white, a lot of people email me, I'm white and I'm ugly and I'm insecure. I want to go to Taiwan. Uh, are the women going to hate me? No, no, man. No, bro, they're going to love you here. You know? Me being Asian, me, I have yellow skin, okay? And I speak a little bit of English and, you know, I bang like, you know, like a like hundred chicks over here. Anyway, so during my, you know, whoring project, which I'm not proud of anymore, but, you know, I did it like an art project. Uh, he's very correct about, I had a similar question that was uh, addressed to me the other day, and I, I almost said the exact same thing. I said, focus on yourself. Instead of trying to see what others think of you, use the energy to make yourself better. And once you make yourself better, number one, when you approach people, you can show them what you have. Right, because if you have not, if you don't have, if you didn't build anything, I like to use the word build. If you didn't build your body, if you didn't build your brain or build a skill in like whatever you do, you have nothing to show people. If it, if you don't have anything to show people, then of course you're gonna be insecure. Like you go out there like an empty vessel. What are you gonna talk about? Like you, you know, like even just what's in your mind, right? Like I would say that there's three ways that that's important. Like he, he talked a lot about building a better, stronger version of yourself. So what I want to talk about, uh, I want to be more concrete. I want to say there are three things that you have to do to get any women you want. I made a video about this too. Uh, check it out in my description box, but I'll say it again. Number one is your physique. Make yourself, I'm, I'm going to be shallow here. Okay. Your physique is the most important part. Your looks, right? Look, look better, you know, dress up, work out, you know, because no matter what awesome personality you have or what great minds you have, if you don't look good first, you, you can't break that first wall, you know? They're, they're, it's like a layer, peeling off layers from like an onion, right? If the layer it's, itself is broken or it's rotten or it's quote unquote fat, not nutritious enough, no one's gonna peel it, no one's gonna see what's inside. So number one thing you must do is to work out, look good, get ripped, get aesthetic in the body, and then you can break that first wall. You can, you can, people will open up that first layer of you. But then a lot of times people open that up and they see nothing inside 
And um, let's play another LA Horse video here, just so that if people don't want to look at my face, they can just hear my voice and sort of look at this guy talk. People who hate Frank King. Um, so, yeah. And then number two things that you need to do is read books. Read a shitload of books. I don't care what you read. Well, for me, I like to read philosophy and psychology. I think those two uh, areas are the most uh, useful in terms of how to get chicks. Because number one, if you read about philosophy, you can sort of, you know, pretend to sound smart using big words. Because let's face it, most of the chicks that you're trying to like screw aren't going to be too, aren't going to argue with you between um, whether they like Schopenhauer better or Kant. You know what I'm saying? Or whether like Hobbes was right or Rousseau about human nature. They're not gonna, you know, they're not gonna know what you don't know. So just read a little bit of it and try to convince them that life is fucking meaningless. You know, convince them existential style. Life is fucking meaningless. So that if they fuck you, they won't have consequences to worry about because life is meaningless and you throw around this world without purpose. So just, you know, just fuck me. Uh, and the other thing that I like to read to um, build up the mental game to get uh, attention from the opposite sex was to read evolutionary psychology. Why? Because, you know, women always like to talk about things like, you know, oh, relationship and, and romance possibility stuff. Anyway, so if you read uh, evolutionary psychology, you can actually talk, talk to them about that shit, but you can break it down using scientific uh, methods and then they're going to be impressed. A girl, a girl will be like, you know, my ex-boyfriend cheated on me, blah, blah, blah. You can be like, you know why men cheat on you? I always say that. Because they, evolutionary uh, wise, they have more sperm. Com compared to one egg with millions of sperms, men are more likely to cheat because they're genetically programmed to spread their seeds everywhere for the survival of not just himself, but the whole species. But women only have one egg a month, so they have to be very precious and very picky, so they can't just sleep around. Tell them that shit. They're going to be like, well, that's true. That makes sense. Right? And then if you convince them that you're the most alpha male to, if you convince them that oh, the only purpose in life is to pass on their genes, to find a really uh, alpha male with really good genes to pass on their genes away so their baby, their baby will be fit. If you convince them that, and you convince them that life is meaningless, they're gonna just be like, okay, let's just fuck. You know what I'm anyway, so that's just my two cents. And the third thing that you must do to get any woman you want is to pick up an instrument, right? Because uh, having uh, talent is a really good way. You know why like a lot of musician artists get so much pussy, like the successful ones. Like I read uh, this book by Daniel Levitt called. Uh, it's talking about music. How like music is ev evolutionary adaptive. How um, music brings us people together. And not only that, music is like a skill or like a talent that you can use to advertise, advertise your genes. Because basically, music is sort of, music is sort of like uh, sort of like a, a status symbol. It's sort of like dr driving a Hummer. It's because number one, it's pretty useless. Number two, you have to, you have to be pretty smart, you have to have pretty good genes, and you have to be pretty uh, wealthy. That means that you have to be uh, well off enough to have free time to do that shit, to do the useless shit. Like a homeless person would never, you know, st or study music. Why? Because he doesn't even have uh, the, the bottom needs satisfied, right? So how can he take violin lessons or afford a piano, you know what I'm saying? So music, if you can, like, just pick up an instrument, like, admit it. I, I mean, like, I, I've talked about how, like, Violence is really hard to learn. How if you don't start when you're five, it's impossible to learn it. Uh, this I still gonna stick my guns with that. But you can pick up an instrument like the piano, and, and, and be pretty good at it. Just play some pop songs with the guitar. Some Justin Bieber on the guitar or on the piano. It doesn't take that long to learn those pieces. You can do it in like a year, a few months, depends on how talented you are. And they'll be impressed. You don't need to play Tchaikovsky or you don't need to play Beethoven. They're just gonna go over their heads anyways. So that's only if you want to have one night stands. If you want to have a, a good relationship. With a, with a girl with good brains, then you might want to, you know, build up a better mind and a better physique. But I'm just saying, in general, focus on building a stronger self. Yes, very true. But how? Aesthetic body, so they can get close to you without feeling repulsed. And once they get close to you, mind fuck them with philosophy, psychology, whatever you want to read. And third of all, once you get them to that third stage and you invite them to your house, break up that violin, break up that piano, break up that guitar, and then fuck them in the heart. Right? You gotta fuck them in the body with aesthetic body, fuck them in the heart with, a, with beautiful music, and fuck them in the mind with knowledge. Okay, that's it.